Okay, guys, this is me building my computer it's with an old day process. You can see like the fans if you watch my unboxing video. So the components right after I unboxed all those components. Um, the song playing right now, Ronald Jinkies, as I said in the deconstruction of the old computer. Really awesome music. This is um what early morning May I think. Something like that. I'll, I'll post the links and everything down below. But, um, yeah. Pretty awesome music. See, I had some... Started out replacing old fans. I replaced all the fans because they were really loud. Well, not really loud. The old ones are... Put it this way, then. The new ones are much quieter than the old ones. And they're orange. Orange is my favorite color, and I wanted an orange and black theme computer. So that's why I put that in there. Yeah, that um, purple cam was like half full, I guess, when I got it, and it was definitely empty, and I had to um, go get new compressed air by the time I was done. And that top hard drive uh, wasn't actually finished. We actually had to end up getting some double-sided Velcro or whatever you call it, Velcro, Velcro strips. And actually, that top Raptor hard drive right there is actually Velcroed on. It's not even screwed on. So, it's kind of... In the ghetto, but you can't even tell if you look at the front of the case. Now I'm looking at my computer right next to me right now, recording this. Yeah, I had to take everything apart. As you can see, I just put the top back on, and it was quite a pain. I had to clean off everything, but that's, I guess, the disadvantages of an acrylic case. I told myself by the time I got to the very end, I'm never going to buy an acrylic case again. Unless, of course, it's, um, Better laid out than this one. Maybe a custom built one. But yeah, my next case will probably be a custom built, like really large, like not your typical case. Like probably three or four hundred dollars, I wouldn't doubt. Cause that will last me like even longer. This is lasting me it's three so for three years right now. Three years last October and it's January right now. I got that case. Yeah. Motorboard, I made sure with the manual and everything, I think I said then they're unboxing for a review or something, that I was installing everything right, so that's why it took me a little bit longer than usual to install that. Heat sink, I installed pretty easy, like that. They have two like little latches, you can see them pulled up there, that hold down the CPU. That, that was apparently what people said for confusing, you can get those backwards, and that's me applying the thermal paste, I think my mom calls me soon. Yep. Talking to my mom now. <laughs> yeah, I just made. I just wanted to make sure. I pretty much knew how to do it. It's just I just wanted to make sure. And that mount I told you in the unboxing is definitely is not for this. And I think 2011 old motherboards come with a pre-installed mount um, plate on the motherboard. You don't even like have to install your own, which is good because then. At least with this one, you can install without having to remove the motherboard. And in this case, as you can see right here, it's not exactly the easiest thing to remove the motherboard in my case. And I got the RAM installed. Slowly coming together, but unfortunately, not not even like half done. Uh, the reason it got tonight so quick was because I had to stop for dinner time. I think when I stopped it's around 4 o'clock or something in the afternoon. And this is, I think, like 7 o'clock now at night. Somewhere around there. Yeah, this right here, what I'm doing, I think about took about 2 hours or so. They just rearrange all the wires. It was a pain in the ass. Like, it was just, uh, excuse my language, but... That's, if any reason I don't want to curl the cases anymore, it's because of this. It took so long. All, I had, all the wires you see right there were stuffed under the DVD or Blu-ray drive, and then had to be stuffed behind the motherboard to see a little bit after I get that hooked up. But I had to find the right links, and I kind of forgot what how I had the wires before. And I was rearranging, yeah, it was a, it wasn't fun. If I had to do this all from scratch, it would have took way longer. It took me, I think, exactly like 12 hours by the time I got the operating system installed when I started this. But. Normally, if I was a normal computer, normal case, probably at most, by the time you get the OS installed, like, at most four hours. But, I'd say it'd take, like, 
at most two to build it in like yeah another hour or two on install the OS. Yeah, as you can see I was trying to get the hard drives organized in the right spot and get the cables in the right order and I was messing around seeing what the SATA cables I got with the SUS are actually the right angle this time and it was a it was a funky mess. Now overall, um, about the components, I'm really happy with what I got. The SUS motherboard is quite good. Processor, definitely still wish I could have got the 6 core, but it's noticeably faster than my old processor, processor for sure, encoding videos. Like, I uh, saw in benchmarks about 50% faster. This one's stock, than my other one overclocked. So, I still haven't gotten an overclock yet on it. That's this current time of uploading the video. I don't have time right now in school, but yeah. As you can see, I'm messing around with the wires going in behind. That, that's the hardest thing. Like, I'm lucky I have small hands because otherwise, then I wouldn't be able to reach back behind and get it. Because I'm like really um, OCD, I guess, about having all the wires tucked up in behind like perfectly so you don't know, see the wires and you know with a clear case it's quite hard to do. You can see me kind of stuffing in behind right now and that yellow tool is like a lifesaver. It's like a little injury you press out, press stuff and then it comes out with a little claw, kind of like a claw machine and then it like can grab stuff. Like, so it kind of extends your finger in a way, and it like you have the little claws on it so you can grab stuff. And that it's a lifesaver. I used that so many times to grab little screws and that, that my fingers couldn't pick up. See, it's coming together. It's almost done. I'm about to put my graphics card in. Had to let my cat out multiple times. You did already notice in the background. And the video is almost done. If you guys have any questions about the build or what you've seen in the video or anything, just comment below, post below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thanks for watching and I forgot what I was gonna say. Thanks for watching. You guys slowed it down here at the end to uh, Kind of show the pictures of it. And this song is Red Lemonade by Ronald Jinkies as well. No, oh, and it's now done. Quite happy to have that finished. See you later.